Hi everyone, it's Brooke with Nightbird Tarot and welcome to your daily tarot reading with me for Tuesday, May 30th. I'm once again using the Tarot Illuminati Tarot deck coupled with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. I've drawn three cards for the daily reading as well as one Clarifier Oracle card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. So let's begin. The first card that we see is the Alchemist, which is very much in tune with the Magician, followed by the Seven of Cups, and finally we see the Ace of Swords. And the Waiting Game has appeared with the Oracle deck, which is very interesting. So beginning with the Alchemist, coming from Monday's reading, which I thought was very empowering, especially for those that needed to hear that you are not a the role that you may be playing in your life right now is not the one that you need to identify with if you're not happy with that, essentially. So coming in on Tuesday, we see the Alchemist, which is very much about manipulation of energies and very much about manifestation. I also attune this card to high manifestation as well. And it's one where there's study, there's focus, and the intention comes in and the initiative to go forth with what you desire. This card has a lot of symbolism with the sword, it has a pentacle in the middle, as well as represented with a chalice or a cup. So he's very in deep with his study and the infinity symbol is a over top of his head. So he's very focused, he's very concentrated. And he knows what he wants. And so now he's bringing forth the energies that are swirling around him. And now it's taking off. So for many of you that are watching, Tuesday may be the day where you may be using Law of Attraction, you may be incorporating different methods to bring about change or to bring forward that type of energy of manipulating the energies to get what you want through meditation, affirmation. And it's, it's very much a card of the mind and using the study of the mind in, ter in terms of getting what you desire. But at the same time, with the Seven of Cups, very much about what do I want? <laughs> and if this card couldn't represent anybody better than me right now, <laughs> what do you want? There are so many choices up in the air of what you want to do, possibly, that you're staring down a, a canyon of infinite possibilities, but at the same time, there's much confusion with this card of trying to pin down one specific goal or one specific intention or perhaps one specific area of your life that you like to focus upon and that's okay. It's good to have choices so many of you may be coming into the realization today of choices. What's most important on my list today to get things going for myself? What's, where should my main focus be to go forward? And I really believe that the month of June is going to be a very empowering month for many in terms of moving forward. The Ace of Swords has appeared, and this is a beautiful rendition of the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is very much about, of course, new beginnings, but this one is coming out of strife. This, is, this one is coming out of a period, perhaps, of struggle. 
And it's also a truth-seeking card or a truth-telling card. And it's very much about being victorious. It's very much about courage, overcoming obstacles, and it's also one where the truth comes into play. It's time to get real about what you want. Whether this is in relationships, whether this is in career, whether this is in your home, whether this is in your situation perhaps where you live, because there seems to be a disillusion or a fantasy world too much sometimes where something needs to be decided upon to narrow your focus to focus solely on one specific goal. But the Ace of Swords is coming in to knock out some of these fantasies or illusionary goals to help you focus and specify your intent. So the Ace of Swords is a very positive card. It's cutting through things that are kind of a waste of time. It's enabling you to move forward. And it's very much signifying a great cycle that's coming up for many as well. In the meantime, Rome wasn't built in a day. So the waiting game comes up. Just to testify to you that whatever you're working hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life, and there may be more than one, which is perfectly normal, this is all about choice and decision. So for the ones that in the past have been afraid of making decisions or choices, and I have a very hard time with making uh, decisions because there's so many avenues I want to go down so it's hard for me to narrow my choices as well so this card speaks to me as well the message is you're no longer held prisoner by a fear or constraints of old beliefs and I'm reading from the book because I'm still getting to know these cards so that's the little book that comes with the oracle deck it's, say, it's telling you to expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your intuition, which is very strong presently. Achievement and success are assured, but once obtained, don't let it change you. Remember who you are, the effort that it took, and the gratitude you need to show to the people who helped you. Very important of basically not forgetting where you come from, not forgetting your roots, but very much about success is on its way. And this is all about making decisions and making choices. And there may be a period of waiting, but it's very much on the way, indicated by the Ace of Swords, which is enabling and empowering many <clears throat> to go forward with goals, to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and to really, the hardest thing to do is to... Ask yourself, what do I want? And to be honest to yourself about that answer and to then act on it with the magician. Narrow down your choices and to be honest and truthful with yourself to move forward because a lot can be achieved. So good luck to you, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. I will be back tomorrow and Wednesday for your daily tarot reading for the last day of May. Wow. So have a wonderful day. Many blessings to you and I'll see you tomorrow.